thrusters primed. Uh, NOS is humming at 90%. That's good, Dave. You check the foils and that there's gas in the tank. We don't need a repeat of last time. Don't worry about last time. Be careful with my girl, Dee. She's my pride and joy, that car. My baby. And at the same time, my wife. I got it. This win is everything, Dave. With that kind of prize money, we won't have to work out of a barn anymore. I'm so overworked, sometimes I accidentally work on the cows like they're cars. I twist their udders with my wrench, and I don't stop until I see milk instead of oil. Well, here we are, the day of the Racer GP Universe Final. From Italians to the horrible French, all manner of racer has qualified. If you're a betting man, however, your eyes are on only one, David Racer, who was the number one seed until last race when he tragically forgot to put gas in his car, causing his lifelong rival, Racer L, to win. I didn't forget. The Russian car took it out of my... T I, right, they can't hear me because I'm in the car. Now, according to the Universe Point standings, David must come in first place to be declared the winner of this year's Racer GP Universe Final. And the sound of the boo-boo-zala means the race is about to begin. As always, I'm Clandis Rich Bright, and I'm the announcer. That's right, women can announce races too, and next season I'll probably be driving my own car, bitch. Huh, <laughs> racer baby, we have how you say taking the gas out of your car using that monkey we sent to Russian space. How you say, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Not today, Ruski. I brought extra gas this time with plenty to douse that friend of yours, too. Now shut up. It's time to race. Go, David! You too, gearhead. Singing the national anthem today, we have a very special guest. It's the old guy from the Six Flags commercials. While he's thanking America, let's talk about today's track. The race will be held on the entire world? That's right. The race is sort of a weird video game or something, so anything goes. Racers, let's get this thing started. On your mark, get set, race! And they're off to a rocket good race. But what's this? One of the cars seems to be on fire? The car full of cavemen that's just a bunch of sticks with big stone wheels and they use their feet to power it is ablaze! Now a bunch of other cavemen are on the track and they're trying to fix the cart by hitting it with clubs. Oof, that's just gonna make it way worse. The cavemen cruisers are out of the race. That's right folks, it's not just the French. All matter of racer is here and some are really fucking weird. Off to an early lead is the infamously quiet racer L with David Racer close behind. In third, the mouse that drives a car made of cheese and right behind them, a car in the style of an old carriage with Willie Shakespeare at the helm. Parting is such sweet sorrow, not when it comes to racing. Damn you, Racer L. You won't beat me this time. This time, I have NOS. Careful, D! We can only turn gas into NOS three times this race! That's right. In this world, you actually turn the gas into NOS. The unseparate. Which is different from how it works in the real world or in the Fast and the Furious franchise. Yes. And in fifth place, the Abraham Lincoln car that looks like a giant chair and the steering wheel is a top hat. I'm on the penny! I know you are, Abe, but I need to use NOS to beat Racer L and win. Wait, shit, he can't hear me either because I'm in the car. For our first course, we're entering the beautiful island nation of Hawaii and the track inside a volcano. So what am I supposed to say here? Ooh, now that's gonna hurt. It looks like the production team got the tracks mixed up and did some dumbass shit dressing up a dragon as a hula dancer. Sorry, folks. Easy, D. Make sure your engine doesn't get too hot. You're in a volcano after all. I know I'm in a volcano. I can see out of the windshield. Is there something wrong with you? I definitely no not. And it looks like Racer L is taking the lead as the cars race down the side of the volcano after being spit out of the top of it like it's a big cannon. Bastard. Part of the car. Wow, and just like that, David Racer is out in front again. It works, David. That's why you are Racer David. Phew, I'm gonna need some more car milk after that one. <clears throat> In last place, we have a car that's green aliens in a flying saucer. They sort of look like what you'd see if you typed alien into Google Images. Not a particularly inspired idea, but hey, they can't all be winners, and that's why they're losers. Now, back to the front of the pack, our racers have reached the part of the course where they go back in time or something, I guess. 
This time it's the beaches of Normandy, June 6, 1944. The racers weave through artillery shells, narrowly dodging the fearless American soldiers who gave up their lives to free and occupied France. The Six Flags guy dances in their honor. And it looks like the car currently in fourth place, a literal clown car where the clown in the car has fused and its eyes are the headlights, its mouth the grill, etc., has just been blown up by a loose mortar with the clown car man on his back. Those ruthless crowds are stripping him for parts. <laughs> Back to the race, it looks like Racer L and David Racer are neck and neck. Coach him, I, I, I gotta use it. Blast it, Dave. It's your last NOS and there's still eight tracks to go. Don't do it, D. Oh, I don't feel so good. I have to eat shit, Racer L. Going through the portal back to their own time, David Racer takes the lead. But for how long? Damn, how does he keep up with me? Are his racing skills so superior? And here we are at the track that's a big amusement park, sort of like Baby Park from Mario Kart 8. I can't, like, follow this thing. You guys are just all over the place with the references. Keep your head in the game, Dave. You just have to stay in first for seven more tracks. <laughs> Silence is deafening. I fucking hate you, Racer L. Why? Why do you race? Everyone in this race is racing for a reason. The devil car to kill God and take over heaven. The Groucho Marx glasses car to win and finally get the confidence to be itself and me. To be the greatest racer in universe racer GP finals history. So why? With his trademark silence, Racer L zooms far into the lead. I have no choice then. Where we're going. David, don't. Oh. I think I need to go to the hospital. We don't need roads. Uh-oh, it looks like David Racer has hit his nose for a fourth time, which is one more time than cars are able to do in this world, I think. Faster and faster, his car is starting to be torn apart by the speed. If he keeps this up, he'll be racing dust. Wait, what's this? The car isn't braking, it's transforming into something else? I think, I think he's done it. David Racer is, he's reached the car zone. In the car zone, there is no winning or losing, only the thrill of the race. David Racer is a being of pure speed and high octane gasoline now. Where he is though, only God car knows. Hold on, something's happening. David Carr is starting to rematerialize. He's back in the physical plane and he's Line. Oh my god, he's won! David Racer is the official winner of the Racer GP Universe Final! But wait, what is it? Something's wrong. Technicians and wheel boys are spilling onto the track. Oh no, David Racer is... He is... He is... The reason I raced was to make you better.